Hello everyone, today I'm here with a collective thrift or like car boot and charity shop haul. Even though there's only one thing from a charity shop, so mainly it's like a car boot haul. So um, this is like collective stuff from a few months and I went to two car boots. So I'm going to either um, put a little annotation of car boot one or car boot two and then the price next to it. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of put these on and showing the items. So this is like clothes and I have a few of like other stuff, so like shoes and stuff like that. So um, yeah, also excuse my hair, um, I didn't want to put heat or anything on it today so I just put it in these like random flats. It doesn't look good down so deal with this. Um, yeah, I'm going to dig into my oh, lovely bag of goodies. Um, First, I got this lovely top. It's like a short sleeve top, but it's a little thing to wear. By the way, I've washed these stuff already, so yeah. Or I never will be okay. Um, next is this crop top. I, this is very, like, it's not something I would imagine myself wearing, but I got it anyway. So, like, it's like this, and it has, like, buttons. Yeah, and it has a very, very nice floral pattern. So I really, really like this. It's like a stiff, almost like jeans type of material. Uh, yeah, so it's quick cute. Next, I got a random pair of trousers, which I just picked up for to make up the numbers. Um, you know what I mean, I'm striking and little stuff and everything. But like these, I haven't tried these on, but they look a bit big for a size so they're like a baggy black kind of smart casual smart, smart, smart trousers with like a cup like folded in. Trouser leg, they, that's the one. And I thought these would be good for going back to six form even though it's on my holiday because I've just started. But you can really always keep that in mind when uh buying clothes. Uh next I got uh Rhythm Paradise for DS. Um, when I was younger, I wanted this, to buy this game when it first came out, and I never got it. So um, I went out and found it at the car boot. Um, even though I think I paid a bit too much for it because it went out and came out ages ago, but I'm still really enjoying this game. Um, King of everything. The game's in my DS, so yes, I still own a DS. So uh, it's great. Uh, next is, oh, this palette. Uh, so some things I got, I got a bit carried away and I don't realise the size, but I'm getting them altered. So, um, this is like a bralette and it has like velvety detail on it. I'm not sure if you see, but the material on it is sheer, so like you can see me. And the detail is velvet, it's very, very pretty. The only thing I need to do with this is the material bit fits perfect like it fits fine it's just the elasticated bit but I reckon because it like stops here nicely I can just um, tweak with it a little and see what I can do uh, this is from Topshop I didn't say what everything was from oh my god I really should so uh, next oh this is oh I kind of didn't really tell the kind of backstory to that thing. Um, so uh, you saw the trousers, the to wear top and the crop top and some of the things that I'm going to show. It's from this lovely girl and her parents had a store and it was like over two stands. Basically she used to work at Topshop and she had loads of Topshop things and I was like oh hello and I thought they were going to be like really expensive but they weren't, they were like a pound. And um, when I went around near the end, they were like, because I was selling on a stall on the second car boot. Um, so, like, I would sleep over with my auntie, and we would, like, she would go, I would go. So every time I had a chance to go, I went to that stall. So she was like, Oh, you've been here so many times. So last time I went just before I was picking up, she was like, Just pick 10 things, and I'll just give you the 50 bit. So that's, like, what I mean, what I meant when I said, like, make up the numbers. But anyway, yeah, I got <laughs> this from her as well, and this is a Topshop turtleneck, and it's like a cropped turtleneck. I'll show you. 
It's really simple, but I really like it. I feel like I have a really long neck, so I like turtlenecks because they hide that for me. Ah! Oh! And the white things you see on it, um, I'll get to it later. I'm sorry, this phone keeps going off. It's Twitter. So yeah, that's that. Oh, I should probably hurry up. Um, then I have this. This was quite interesting. Like, it's also like kind of pearl neck, not really. It's like a high neck. And this is from Sparkle and Fade. It's like a, you have to have something underneath it because it's quite, so like, the armpits are quite low and then the back is like, after the zip opens. So that's that. As you can see the pattern, I have a lot of black things. I, I like stuff like that. Um, next I have the skirt from Miss Guided. It's a long, it's kind of like a midi skirt. Um, yeah, this also needs altering, I didn't realise. I thought this was going to be this is um, 8. This 8 is rather big, it doesn't fit me. So, um, yeah, I'll just get my nan to do that for me. My nan and my auntie can do a better job at sewing and things like that. Cause that's what they've been doing for years. And I just don't have any experience. And then, <clears throat> I guess another thing from Topshop, it's a crop top. I have one of these and I fell in love with it and Topshop doesn't sell them anymore as I don't think they do. I don't know, there's something about these crop tops that I really like, the material and the style, so this just comes just under there. So like it's, it's nice, it's stripy, it's a crop top, I like it. Yeah. Um, this I bought for the fact that I like the uh, bike on it and didn't realise the size. Right, this is the first car boo, so I made several mistakes. Um, this is the UK 40, but when you, I put it on, it's nice and baggy, so it's like a little, like I can lounge around in it, it's really comfy, and it has like cuffed, cuffed, is that the word? Cuffed sleeves. So yeah, I really like this, and I'm going to wear this on the way to my holiday, because it's comfy, and it's just like, nice, I guess, I don't know. Um, then I have a pair of shoes. Um, Dirty shoes to be exact. I know some people are very against buying shoes, especially sandals, like car boots, but um, personally I don't see it as an issue or a problem or something like icky. Um, I just take the shoes home, give them a thorough clean, spray them with like anti like fungal stuff just in case. And uh, yeah, I gave just to like, bef before I get any comments like, ah, oh, that's disgusting. I've cleaned these twice with uh, boiling hot water and antibacterial stuff for the first time round and then like proper like fairy liquid on the next time next round and then I sprayed it with anti bungle spray so I think I'll be set. These are just um, the clear glittery um, jelly shoes. I believe these originally came from um, Matamon but I think they're cute. I like them. I like the white book a lot. Don't know why that's a thing. I just like it. So, oh, this is ooh, this is one of my favourite things. Um, this is a Coca-Cola top. I don't know why I like it. Just goes with everything. Uh, it's like I wouldn't say it's long sleeve. It's like to here, I guess. So yeah, that's cute. Um, then I got this, and when I spotted this, I was like, okay. I had like a little target beef in my head, like this is a bit weird. No, but just imagine, I just I just targeted this, and I went and sprinted to it, because the lady was putting it out. And it was the um, Lancome, okay, I, I did French, but I can't pronounce it to say my life, Tent Ideal Ultra Foundation. Um, so yeah, let me just, looks like this. Um, it's the 110 milliliter um, version, but I oh why is but um, there's about this much left in it, like there. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna give it a go. I've never tried like a high proper high end foundation, so this is gonna be a first. So we'll see. 
how that goes and I got it and I found it in shade 2. Next I have this wonderful um, kimono. This is from New Look and um, it's, um, yeah, it's just a kimono, a very nice pattern. It's like a navy and pink. So I, I usually have, I have a black and white kimono and a black and floral kimono. So um, yeah, that's going to be a nice little piece to just throw over an outfit when it's like uh, hot, but not hot, that hot, so like you're kind of chilly on your shoulders. So yeah. Um, then I have a skirt. I don't usually buy that many skirts. Maybe not a skirt, but you know. Um, this one is from Zara. I wasn't aware of that until I got home, so I was like, ooh, Zara. And it's like a, I don't know what to call this. It's an interesting print. It's very busy, but I like that because it goes nicely with like a plain white top or a plain, also a plain black top because of the, um, little rubbers on the front and the back. I thought that's quite nifty. And it's just a skate skirt and it's like, it just finishes above the knee for me because, well, I'm quite short, so. Um, yeah. Nice little things to have in the wardrobe. Next, I have just a plain little staple um, black crop top with high neck and it's another way, I don't know where special Primark, but I also have this one in white. I don't know if I'll keep the white one. I'll show you it's like that. Um, and then I have, this is interesting, this is quite, like I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it, but I got it to like, again, make up the numbers and I thought it was quite an interesting piece and I quite liked it. Um, this is a bodysuit. Um, it's mesh. <laughs> and then obviously this bit is like normal material. It closes with, it's not Velcro, it's like poopy, so um, I like that. And um, I actually really, really like this. I'm just thinking of what to put underneath it. Like, so I don't, I don't just want to wear a black bra underneath it. I'm not, like, I don't think I can do that. So, um, yeah, there's, it's long sleeved. I think you could get away with this in the brush summer because um, it's not exactly a heat wave. It's not exactly a boiling. So, uh, yeah, with the little brush stuff, that would be a nice little breeze. So, yeah, that's that. Then I got this dress. Um, I have to do a little fix on this dress, but it's very minor. It's not anything too big. It's like the material has come a bit detached from the actual zip bit. So, um, that's fine. I thought this was really, really cute. It's a tartan, would you call this tartan print? I'm not sure, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, dress. This is a size six and it is from Primark. And it has a little collar that I accidentally um, changed the colour of in the wash. It was white, but some, one of the colours ran in. And it's kind of light grey now, but I'm just going to use a excuse me, fabric right now. And it has a little bow. How cute and adorable is that? I love it. And I think this is going to have a lot of wear in and out of school because um, I like stuff like this. Uh, then I have, I should really hurry up, I've been doing this for quite a long, it's quite a long haul, um, this little thing from Misguided, I'm not sure what this is called, but like a, like a, you put it on top of your shirt type of thing, and it's quite long, it has a belt to it, but I don't know where I put the belt, so, yeah, it's, it's baby pink, showing up like white on the camera, but it's quite pink in person. Um, then I have, oh, there's the white crop top, okay. This white crop top, the exact same style as the uh, other Primark one, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one because I realised that it has like a little stain on it. But it was only like 50p, so I, I, if I can't get it out, then that's not an issue. So uh, moving swiftly on. This, this was brand new, but okay. Um, I put it in the wash with the tag on, so the tag mounted everywhere not mounted, like disintegrated everywhere and it was all over the stuff. This is just a little blouse for, I got it for school, I really like the pattern on it, it's quite unusual and yeah, it's, 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 it's what it is. Um, then I got a Topshop uh, shirt, 
I like little shirt things like that. I don't usually button them up, I just keep them unbuttoned and put them on top of a crop top or like a spaghetti strap top. So, simple thing. Uh, then I got another Topshop crop top. <laughs> Similar to the one that I showed earlier, but this is like a different material. It's blue. It's, it's, I have four minutes left. I should stop rambling. Yeah, Topshop crop top. Next. Uh, this is quite a nice find, I think, personally. See, uh, Abercrombie and Fitch top. Um, it's grey. This this material, this cotton is such high quality, like it's so soft. It's like the softest cotton I've ever found. <laughs> like no exaggeration, it's really nice and soft. I really like this top. Um, then I have this crop top. It's like a chiffon -y type of material. It's from Misguided. It has, it's like this on the back. That's the front, I don't think that's the back. And uh, yeah. Uh, I also got, I still have to get stuff off here, okay, this um, short sleeve type of top and it's a white and it has like a back little zip. It is from Forever 21, it's white, it's high neck and I really think this will go with most of the trousers and skirts that I own. Then I got this top, which is like, um, it's unusual for me. It's like a, a top with like the collar is actually the collar is actually sewed onto it, like a sequin collar and sequin finishing on the shoulders, sleeves, sleeves, and it closes like this with the bag. So yours. And I got these. Um, these are from Topshop also, and they are like fake leather high waist shorts. I know these are going to burn in the summer, but it's worth it. They're going to look nice in the outfit that I have in mind. And last thing from my bag of treasures is this pencil skirt. It's like a creamy cut, it's like a cream colour. It's from H&M, and I really, really like it. It will go nice with like a white top. Okay, I can move on to this pile of stuff. As you can see, um, there's not much on here, so I think I should get some of that. This is the one charity shop item that I have, and it is a lovely dress from Topshop. It is, oh, it's so much brighter on the camera. <laughs> it's a bright red dress. It's made of a really nice heavy duty material, so I really like it has like a nice v-shaped neck and I wore this for my birthday and I really really like it so yeah um then I have this like would you call it tennis tennis style dress I'm not sure but it's like of this and it has a collar and like it zips up here and the pattern is daisies like who doesn't like daisies and uh, this is from like a little unknown brand I'm not sure it's called temptations uh, then I also have this shirt, I like this shirt, it's a very very nice pattern, the blue will show not very very bright on the camera but it's not that bright, it's more of like a dark navy, really like the detail of the shirt, very pretty, would go nice with like a black pair of jeans or a black skirt, yep, and then the last thing is something I definitely need to get altered and it was a bit of a impulse buy next day, is this uh, banana skin dress? Um, so yeah, this is a dress of banana vine. I need to get it altered because it's too big for me. But I mean, if if I can't if I can't do anything about it, I'm just gonna take this bit off and use this as a crop top. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on this if I can. So that is everything in my collective haul. I hope this video wasn't too long and I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave comments, like and subscribe if you want to and um, enjoy your day.